Hi, this is a brief training on how to submit your availability or inavailability uh, for Ministry Scheduler Pro. Uh, this particular video uh, illustrates how to do that using the web terminal on a PC. So the first thing you'd want to do is access the page that you see here. This can be done by clicking the link that's included in the email that I sent to you. Uh, you'll want to enter in your username, your password, and log in to your account. And then you should be presented with a home screen that looks similar to this. Uh, you'll want to go to the My Profile tab. And under that, you'll see uh, a few boxes of information um, for you to verify and to uh, update. The first one is general information, so that's just your, your basic contact information. Um, email me reminders blank days before my scheduled dates. So the default is two days. If you need to adjust that, feel free and go ahead. Under Ministries and Scheduling, so the first thing here, Service Preferences, so these are the services or the mass times that you would prefer to be scheduled. Um, you'll just want to double check that we have that accurate for you. Um, if you wish to remove a time, just highlight and click Remove over here. Uh, if you wish to add a time, uh, just click Add and then you'll see the drop down here of different mass times that you can choose from. One thing I do want to point out is this checkbox down here that says schedule me only at the services in this list. So this would be for kind of the normal Sunday rotation. Uh, whatever mass times you have in here would be the ones that you would only be scheduled at if this box is checked. I do want to make note that uh, even if this box is checked for Holy Days, those are a different category of mass. We actually schedule those as special services is what the term that MSP uses. So even if this box is checked, you would still be eligible to be scheduled for a, a Holy Day Mass um, unless you come in here and indicate specifically that you're not available for either the date of that Mass or that Mass time specifically. So then we'll transition down to this box. So under unavailable dates and times, um, you'll want to check and make sure if there's anything in this box um, when you come into your account that it's accurate. Um, if for some reason it isn't, uh, you can always, similar to up here, click and highlight it and then there be, would be a remove button over here that you could remove it and then click to add uh, updated dates and times. Um, so the example I want to use is say I'm a volunteer who I get Nathan's email and I'm asked to update my availability for November. And I see on there that he's wanting me to pay particular attention to the dates of November 1st for All Saints, uh, November 2nd for uh, All Souls, um, and then Thanksgiving Day on November 28th this year. Um, so let's say I look at my calendar and I say out of all of those uh, dates in November, uh, the only ones that I can't do are the 8 a.m. Mass on November 1st, I'm not available the weekend of November 9th and 10th, and I can't do Thanksgiving Day on November 28th. So how would I go about updating that? Uh, so you'd click Add, and then you'll see this, uh, I am not available, uh, and then there's a drop-down menu. So I'm just going to go in chronological order here, and I'm going to go for that November 1st 8 a.m. Mass. So I'm not available for the 8 a.m. Mass, but I am eligible or am available to be scheduled for the 6.30 p.m. Mass that evening. So the best way for me to indicate that is then to go... Uh, down here to for a specific service and then I would go down to this drop down menu and I would say you know I'm not available for the 8 a.m. mass but that allows me if you notice here um, it allows me to leave open the 630 mass so that's the reason why this for a specific service function is useful because when there's multiple masses on one day you can choose which one or ones you're not available for so Again, so I'm not available for 8 a.m. I'll click that one. And then um, let's say I have a family member that I also want to add to. Uh, I want to add this unavailable time to their profile as well. So I want to make sure I click this box down here. And then I have the other dates to follow here. So I'm going to click OK and add another. And so this time, I'm not available for the weekend of November 9th and 10th. So on this drop-down menu, I'm actually going to keep it at during the date range because that option is for any time that you have multiple dates that you're not available for. So I'm going to keep it on that option. I'm going to go and select November 9th 
and then it defaults to the 10th, but I can just double check. So I'm not available from the 9th to the 10th. To the 10th. I want to again add this to my entire family and I have the, the one uh, additional time that I need to enter. So I'm going to go again to OK and add another. And this time I'm going to say I am not available on the following date. So it's just one day later in November, it's the 28th that I'm not available for. So I add that. I add that I don't want that, uh, I, I want this added to my uh, family members. And then I'm all done, so I'm going to click OK. And then the key here that I want to point out is even after you've entered the dates, so you'll want to review them here, the key is here to click Submit. If you do not click Submit, it does not get registered into the MSP system, and therefore it doesn't recognize that you, you went through and entered these dates. So you need to click Submit. I click Submit, and then it gives me a message that my profile chain change form has been submitted and will be processed soon. Once you see that message, then you can be assured that your dates have been submitted. I'm hoping this is helpful. As always, if you have questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you.